Hi, I'm Chris and this is David and we're foster carers from Hartlepool. We went along, there was an open day, foster and open day, so we went along to that and we spoke to some of the workers who were there um, about fostering and the process involved. Um, and it went from there really, they came out to visit us in our home um, and it went really quick. I think before we looked at fostering, we were we were considering adoption as well. But I think we both decided that fostering would probably be the best option because it, I think it's the difference you can make to someone's lives. And while yeah, you can adopt someone, it generally the kids who were adopted are, are quite stable. Where we felt we could offer something to to kids who maybe not had the best upbringing and give them something that they wouldn't otherwise have had. The, the assessment part is yeah. quite lengthy. And it goes, in terms, it's quite in depth, isn't it? And I think the whole point of it is to to look at kind of like what your life experiences that you can bring to fostering, and and to make sure that really you kind of like dealt with those experiences because obviously a lot of the children and young people that come into the care system are people that have had quite difficult upbringings and are going to need a lot of support. So they need to make sure that you've been able to deal with you know your, your own life experiences so that you can help them with theirs. I think initially going along to the open day was to find out if we were suitable. Um, we both work, so we didn't know if working would have an impact because obviously you need to have a lot of time to dedicate to the kids, but luckily it, it worked out really well and it doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, in fact, it might help in, a, in some ways because it helps the kids have a, a bit of normality about their lives. It was exciting, but it was scary at the same time because all of a sudden, you know, you go for, from being a couple that don't have any children to have these two little people that are living in your house. And I think that's the thing. We were preparing for one child and we ended up getting two, two siblings, um, which is what we wanted, but it was a bit of a shock at the same time, um, especially when these two kids turned up with nothing. We needed a bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we need beds. But social services were fantastic with that and all the bedroom equipment that we needed, they came out and sorted that for us. And on the day that the boys were coming, our, our link worker was upstairs helping us put bunk, put bunk beds together. So the social services have been really supportive yeah, yeah. in the local authority, haven't they? I think probably a sense of fulfilment because it, it's really nice to see when they came, they had no character. Um, and they've developed that character over time and it's really nice to see the character come out and the real kids rather than, I don't know, they were like shadows when they came out and they weren't. Yeah, they had, a, they had a really tough time and to see them grow and develop and it's little things like going to parents evening and being told how how much they've come on since they've been in, in your care and, and that kind of like sense of pride that you get knowing that you know they're developing and, and into lovely young people. Um, and also when people comment on the change in them and, and how much they have come on and you think, wow, we're a part of that and it's a really good feeling. There's people out there with all sorts of different backgrounds. You know, some, some people might be a single person on their own and want to foster. Um, you know, some people might feel that they're too old. Get in touch and, you know, it, once, you've completed, once you get through the assessment, the you'll find out fairly quick whether you're going to be able to do it or not. But if it's something that you think you could do, you should do it. Because there's a lot of kids out there that need somewhere, somewhere to live in a loving family. And you could be that person to do that for them.